Uh, shout out goes to uh, Jessica, Salmer, and, and Mike. Mike, what's your last name? Keefe. Mike Keefe? Yes. Mike Keefe. Thank you so much for, uh, for hosting us with this. And my name is Bob Wilbanks. I uh, am a retired mechanical engineer from Northrop Grumman and uh, excited to be here again. And my colleague. Um, my name is Kevin Stinson, and I also am a mechanical engineer and I work at Northrop Grumman. Yes. yes. So um, without further ado, let's begin. Um, we have uh, three bridge entries this year from the Lead uh, for Future Academy. And, uh, and then we have a bridge entry that I made that was just merely for testing our loading concept. And um, the, the big distinguishing factors is the bridges from the uh, Lead uh, for Future Academy are made um, very efficiently. Uh, they used minimum numbers of straws. Um, they were uh, very careful about the glue that they used. And uh, when we take a look at my bridge, we're going to see just the opposite. I used a lot of straws and I used a lot of glue. Um, so we'll kind of see if um, efficient and uh, lightweight takes the competition today mm -hmm. or overkill and, uh, and brawn. So I'm, I'm hoping that efficient and lightweight uh, takes the, uh, the win today. Uh, so to begin, we're going to weigh these bridges. And Kevin, would you uh, show them bridge number one? So this is the first bridge from the Relief for Future yes, Academy. Yes, it is. Yes. And uh, you can see it's a, a truck bridge. Um, yeah. So, Use a lot of triangles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah. So, so hey, we'll put this one here. There are one. Scale. OK, we're zero that, Kevin. Okay. Oh. And it looks like we're at 1.6 ounces. Okay. So guys, I'm going to put this into my note app. We'll call this bridge number one. Let's see. I'm just going to try to decide. Okay, very good. Still reading 1.6. Yeah, hold on, looking up. Oh, there we go. Equals. Oh, now we're at 1.5. We're going to give it 1.5, Kevin. Okay. How's that? We're going to do this in ounces, guys, because um, that's what we um, have the um, water bottles calibrated to. Okay. So bridge number one. There we go. 1.5 ounces. Okay. And Kevin, we'll load that in. Here's that. This is the top side. I would say so. Yeah, it looks like it would have been. Now I'll get this off of here. Okay. Slide it into the, the testing apparatus. Okay. Looks like a good fit. Put that really great surface on. Right. Okay. Very good. And we're going to, so our challenge this year is we're going to load these bridges to destruction and our minimum weight is it consists of a, a package of 12 eight ounces of uh, water bottles mm -hmm. and each one of these um water bottles is approximately um nine ounces so we'll put this one here in the middle carefully Ah, uh, looks good, Kevin. So let's see. You see any deflection? Any noticeable deflection? Yeah, I think we're seeing something yeah, over here. Yeah. I'm seeing something over here. I don't know if you can see that from this side. Uh, so we're supposed to let that stay on for a minute. Let's make sure it does. Something a little on this side, but it's it's uh, pretty. Uh, Hanging in there. It is hanging in there. All right, so I got about 20 seconds of pass. I see a little bit of a lean here. Oh, more 30 seconds. Yeah, so we got 30, 30 more seconds to go, and then we'll start adding some more 
more weight to this. Okay, 15 seconds to go, Jeff. And there we have it. Yeah, yeah well, hold for a minute. So bridge number one, um, you met your minimum load requirement. Well done. And uh, so let's start to learn a little bit more, Kevin. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to add some individual water bottles here. So I'm going to. Over here. Okay, so we had one package plus four little water bottles. Uh, let me um, record that real quick. And Kevin, while I'm doing that, uh, would you kind of show them what the, the bridge looked like afterwards? Sure. Oh. See, it's sort of collapsed here. The truss members, the, ju the glue joints broke. But, yeah, not bad, not bad. Majority of it held together up to uh, right here. Joint failure, and then after that, it's just catastrophic. But it did meet the minimum uh, it did. weight requirement. And so we'll, we'll see how it does compared to oh, the other. Yes, I see we lost a few pieces there. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, so here we go. We're going to take a look at bridge number two. Well done for bridge number one. Great. So, bridge number two is very interesting. We have some interlocking beams here. I uh, I like this construction, and I'm going to go with the idea, Kevin. I think this is going to be our our top here. Okay. Let me think. Yeah. You want to wait this for me? Yeah. All right. Let's see this last bridge was 1.5 ounces. One. Two ounces. Two ounces. Yeah. Two ounces even. Well done. Okay. All right. Here we go. Bridge number two has two ounces. All right. Yep. You want to load that in there? Again, it fits uh, nicely. Very nicely. Very tough. Very good. Let's check. Lined up. You know, it's uh, one thing about this, Kevin. It looks mm -hmm. like uh, they've only utilized the. Uh, uh, the top supports on uh, on this one. Yeah, so it it, it is essential that the top supports are touching, touching and, and engaged. Right. Yeah. So it is well engaged here, here. And it's a little shaky over there, yeah. but uh, it did fit. Okay. And uh, we we haven't taken advantage of these uh these bottom supports on this design. All right, well, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Rip it on. Yeah, I believe I put the last one on. Would you do the honors on this one? Okay. Oh, very good. Hold it. And um, we're going to sign it for a minute. So there's a little, a little deflection. Okay, so we're 15 seconds. Mm 
it's going to make it. I think I think so. And we're at 30 seconds. I don't see any uh, uh, any joints that are uh, are separated yet, so that's a good thing. I'm leaning a little toward that. It is. And for 45 seconds. And there you go, we got a one there. Wow. Again, a nice job on print yeah. number two. All right, so well, let's uh, start loading these up individually, Kevin, see how many water bottles we take. All right, I'll put the, the first one on. So what one pack plus one bottle. Second. And the third. Fourth. Wow. <laughs> I like breaking these. This is fun. <laughs> All right. So we uh I think we have a the same load last time. Um one package plus uh four individual water bottles. So let me add that. Uh, to my notes. Here we go. It's interesting to note that the bridge failed uh, almost symmetrically and just collapsed straight down. I know. It was almost like uh, if we wanted to uh, uh, do a demolition of that bridge. Oh, yeah. That, was, that, that came, kind of came down like I didn't want it to happen. Yeah, all the members are, didn't, are still attached. Oh, plug in here. But you can see that joint failure here, joint failure here, here. So again, you know, method requirement. Yes, it is. So Kevin, right now, uh, bridge number one is uh, at best in bridge number two. They they carry the exact same load, one package plus four water bottles. Okay. But uh, bridge number one was a half ounce lighter. Okay. So let's get a. Uh, Win as far as a strength to weight ratio goes. All right. And now we're going to put on bridge number three, which is the official entry by uh, League for Future Academy. And it's, uh, oh, it really is pretty. The joints yeah. are, are so well done. Yeah. Very neat. Yeah, very neat and yeah. very, very efficient. Now let's see. Uh, Kevin, we've got a, uh, a choice to make which one are which one are we going to do as top are we going to do this side as the top or are we going to do this side as the top what do you think kevin i would think that the this side would be the top i would think so too i, I would think they put more support to the roadway surface mm -hmm. on that so that's the way we'll load it so um if i carefully put this in here All right there we go and 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 Kevin, uh, what can you, can you give us a little bit of um, discussion about how this is going to load um, the supports and everything? So as, as we have load here, we would expect um, this bottom support to, to help support. Yes, the bridge. I'm going to put this one down so we yeah no official official bridge. Well, we did. Well, I'll take that out. I'm just going to put that out. Bridge. Wow. Really a uh, lightweight design. Is it less than 1.5 couch? No, but it, it is measuring uh, 1.7 ounces. 1.7. All righty. Oh, no. All right, I'm gonna put that road surface on. Perfect. And here's our minimum weight. Our package is 12 eight ounce bottles. Nine ounces a piece. 
Yeah, wow. it's really impressive. Is that, I don't see any deflection at no all at this point. Okay, so let's go with our minute. Here we go. And we're at 15 seconds. Uh, showing uh, really no sign of, uh, of distress. And we're at 30 seconds. And we're at 45 seconds. And there you go, Kevin. That, that held the minimum required load for the uh, minimum time period. But again, yeah. well, so let's uh, great job, guys. Stuff. Yeah, that's very quiet. Yeah. So, Kevin, you do the honors. You put the first one. Okay. One bottle off the one over here. Yeah. We load it evenly. Okay. All right, so hey, here's the fourth bottle. The fourth bottle so far has been the one that's uh... all right. All right, we have to get more water bottles. Let's do it. Okay. Well, I have to move these a little bit to make room for some more water bottles. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to put one here and one there. Okay, right, Kevin. Okay. Let's see. We're five. Six. Ah, yeah, very impressive. Nice. All right. All right. Hold on. We're going to have to uh, okay. put this on top so we can load some more one. All right. Seven. We can uh, move that around, Kevin. Wow. Eight. Very nice. All right. Two whiz. Kevin, these two for you. Okay. If we uh, put these four on, Kevin, we're going to take those off and replace them with another, another 12 pack. Let's put that one right there. Line. Yeah. Wow, very impressive. Oh, man. All right. Whoa! Oh, not bad. One package plus 10. Wow. So I'll write that down. I think that so far wants to really go. We'll have to do the calculation to see which one of those three actually is the most efficient, but that one definitely carries the most load. All right, one package boss. So how oh look at how that's there. Yeah, thing. yeah, it's just the joint daily right here in the front and right here. So it, it looks like it, it just maybe for the future design, you can see how it racks. Yeah, it sure does. So maybe a diagonal support. From side to side. Uh, yeah, it, it basically looks like it's failed more side to side than it did yeah. uh, like vertically. Yeah. Well done, guys. Yeah. Nicely done. All right. So now we have the last bridge. And this is uh this is the bridge that I made. Um really just to test the loading concept out. And you're gonna notice that. Um, boy, I, I was pretty heavy on the glue joints here, um, as compared to the uh, to the other entries, and I used a uh, a lot more straws. So um, why did it come in heavy, Kevin? How heavy do you think? Well, I actually weighed it before, so uh, we should be like in the five ounce range. Let's 
Oh, okay. It's actually showing a little lower. Four point one ounce. Four point one ounces. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. So, the leap for Future Academy, their heaviest bridge was two ounces. So my bridge is at least twice that. So let me put this in here. Uh, one. All right, so Bob Bridge. Equal 4.1 ounce. All right, 4.1. Oh, here we go. All right, all right, let's. I'll let you do the honor. Oh, thank you. I'm um, the bridge in the hazard. Hazard. Okay, let's see how this is. Uh, so it looks like I'm fully touching down at the bottom of sports, Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like I'm, I'm kind of kissing the, uh, the top supports here, too. So um, pretty much I'll take it full advantage of all the supports that I can get. Yeah. So that's a, that's, a, uh, that's a good strategy. So Kevin, why don't you put the roadway on? Yeah, yeah there's some of our weights that have fallen on the floor. There's uh, one here. All right. So we'll put the minimum load on. Right, there we go. And we'll time this for one minute. So Kevin, I already know this will hold the minimum weight uh, because this was our, our test concept bridge to check how to, to load this. I've already done this ahead of time. So how do we look for deflection? Huh? Pretty good, uh, yeah. A little tilting. It's a little tilting, yeah. Four dots. Four All right. Dots. I did that. Yeah. Well, we'll cut this short. Let's put another one. Say hey, what well, we're gonna go. Oh wow. I'm gonna go for two packages here. Again, this is the brawny one built with a boatload of straw, boatload of glue. I'm thinking we're holding that pretty good, Kevin. All right. You might run out of water now. Yeah, you put that one on? All right, so. All right. Do this gently. Wow. Very impressive. Yeah, okay, we're up to three. No three packages. packages. They're a little tricky. Start to settle in. You can see it deflecting. Yeah, we see we see some deflection now. All right. Let's run our package. Start to get to the point where we have to be careful how we put this on. <laughs> All right. Well, up to four. Nice Kevin. Uh, right back to a five. Well, let's test for a minute. Uh, I think we're good. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go here just okay. to get in uh in between our computer and our load here to make sure that we don't have it. Catastrophe at this thing fall. So, can you open number five one? Okay. Wow, very impressive. Looks like you need to move that back toward you a little bit. Yeah. Okay. We're having a little, a little bit more. Well, let's have a balancing issue at this point. One more thing, just put okay. one more back. 
Okay, like a little bit more. Yeah, go ahead. A little bit more back. Just give it like a an inch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you like that? Or it's fine. This is gonna this is gonna tumble over. <laughs> yeah, I'll set that right there. There you go. Okay. I'm just gonna keep my hand here. How are we doing with the deflection? Pretty good. And there we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't really destroyed it. Let's have a meteor strike. <laughs> there oh. we go. <laughs> well, those meteors are pretty rough. <laughs> okay. So we were at, um, let's take a look and see how this thing broke. Yep. Pretty fascinating. Wow. Boy, that media really did the number on this one. Just cut it right in half, Kevin. Wow. Look at that. What a mess. Boy, that was fun. All right. Well, team, so we'll uh, uh, just do a little quick calculation here. We'll be back in a moment and uh, determine who uh, won as far as the uh, strength to weight ratio. Yeah. All right. So um, thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you shortly. Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, we uh, did our calculations for strength to weight ratio. And um, my bridge, uh, the one that held five packages, uh, one in that particular category, Kevin. Um, uh, but it was not a uh, it was not a runaway victory. It was actually pretty close. Yeah. Um, so here are the results. Uh, bridge number one, which was a lead for Future Academy entry, which was not their official entry, Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that came in at 1.5 ounces bridge weight, and it held one package plus four water bottles. Uh, the load, we converted that to ounces uh, at 9.08 ounces per bottle, uh, came out to 145.3 ounces. And its strength to weight ratio was 96.8. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's huge. Yeah. Um, let's see, which one was bridge number one? I believe, yes, I believe this was bridge number one. Um, bridge number two, uh, which is this one over here. Again, uh, lead for Future Academy. It was two ounces. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? Oh. Actually, I think. Um, or this is this one. Oh, this is the, this is our, that's, uh, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Uh, my own bridge number one. This might have been yeah. bridge number two. Yeah. Okay, so bridge number two came in at two ounces. And it held the same one package yeah. plus four water bottles. So its load was 145.3 ounces. And its strength to weight ratio came in at 72.6. Uh, now, see the official bridge, which is this one over here. Um, I weighed at 1.7 ounces. It was uh, in the middle there as far as weight, but it held one package plus 10 of the bottles. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and that came out at 199.7 ounces. And its strength to weight ratio. Was 117.5. Wow. So uh, over 100. All right. And then uh, the bridge that we had built just to kind of test our loading concept, um, that was a whopping 4.1 ounces. So it was clearly two times heavier yeah. than their heaviest bridge. Mm -hmm. um, it held uh, uh, five packages of water bottles. So that was 60 water bottles. Um, and uh, calculated load of 544.8 ounces, and its strength to weight ratio was 132.9. Wow. So okay. it technically did uh, have the best strength to weight ratio. Uh, curiously, um, that strength to weight ratio divided by the strength to weight ratio of the official entry, this is only 13% um, more strength to weight ratio. Wow, so. Very efficient. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. I mean, if we take yeah. a look at this bridge yeah. with all the straws that I used, yeah. that was like real metal. 
this would cost a boatload of money. Wow, wow. Where this would be uh, a lot less expensive, more efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, so overall, on a systematic standpoint, I think this bridge is the best design of the four that we saw today. Totally agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, guys, that uh, concludes this year's uh, 2021 competition. I want to thank everybody out there who's watching, and um, we had a great time. And again, well done by our student participants. They um, did an excellent job with their report. Their uh, oral presentation oh, was uh, top notch. Yeah. And um, well done on the construction of your bridges. So until 2022, um, I'm Bob Wilbanks, and again, it's been uh, my pleasure to break these bridges and with my colleague, yeah, so. Kevin Kapinpin, right? We want to wish you uh, a great uh, 2022, and hopefully this next year we're not going to have to wear these. So bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. All right, thank you, everyone, for attending the uh, Maryland Engineering Challenges for the Strawbridge Competition at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. We're excited that you participated. And thank you for watching. Have a good rest of the day.